In the Balanced View training, there is one pith instruction, and that is to rest for short moments many times until continuous. And what short moments are, are moments of complete relaxation amidst the flow of our thinking or our emotions or our sensations. We choose to completely relax in the moment rather than indulging or avoiding or replacing what's occurring. And so in the balanced view training, to make things easy, we use the term data to encompass thinking, emotion, sensations, and all experience of all kind. And so what happens in a short moment when we completely relax just like that, completely relax no matter what's going on, we recognize that there's an alertness and a cognizance, an alert, cognizant, stable intelligence that's present. And sometimes we might say in the beginning to just stop thinking for a moment. Just stop for a moment and recognize this always present, alert, cognizant energy. And then the next thought comes, and we see that that alert, cognizant energy is still present, and indeed is the basis for the thinking. It's the basis for the thinking, and it's the basis for no thinking. Now maybe for, for you this is the first time that you have been introduced to this all-pervasive intelligence. You know, many of us have spent an entire lifetime being trained in just relying on what we call reified intelligence. And that's an intelligence that gives independent nature to everything. And so reified intelligence is an intelligence that only knows to indulge or avoid or replace what's going on in the current moment. And really the only action that, that uh, comes from that is a very, very contrived activity. And if we just look at our, our life, we see that this is pretty much true for, for all of us. That we adopted these belief systems of others, and we thought that the, the totality of our reality was that avoiding and indulging and replacing, micromanaging, shape-shifting our everyday experience would hopefully produce something better, where we, we might get to some destination called happiness or success or stability. But from the very beginning in Balanced View, through our pith instruction of short moments many times until continuous, we're actually reintroduced to ourselves. We're introduced to our fundamental nature of open intelligence. And a short moment allows us to recognize this intelligence to recognize its always on nature. And in our direct experience, we then get to see that the thinking and the emotions and the sensations are nothing other than the dynamic energy of this intelligence. Just like the sun's rays are the dynamic energy of the sun, all of our thinking and our emotions and our sensations are the dynamic energy of our own open intelligence. And when we become familiar with that and comfortable with that juncture of inseparability, wherein we see that the data and, the, and our own open intelligence are completely inseparable, like the color blue and sky, then a whole new world opens up to us. A whole new world, a distinct reality of recognizing everything just as it is. To know that in, in our state of complete relaxation, completely relaxing within the flow of whatever's occurring moment to moment, we see that there is a, a, a new world. And, and we tap into the beneficial nature of this recognition, of the knowingness of this reality. And, and, and just boom, in that moment, we come into a completely different relationship with our data. And this is really, really key. It's the key to our own empowerment. It's the key to our own self-leadership. And really, it's the key to leadership in general. 
we're no longer misperceived, we're no longer operating under uh, belief systems and adopting these belief systems of others as our own. We actually can test this in our own experience, utilizing our circumstantial flow of data to recognize reality, the reality for ourselves and others. And then what happens is when we adopt this Four Mainstays lifestyle, we're adopting a, a support, supportive algorithm that's unflinching in its guarantee of a life of greater satisfaction and flourishing. And the algorithm is the practice of short moments many times, the training media, all of the trainings that are available in a formal setting, or all and or all of the media that's available on our website, all of the books that are available. There's thousands of hours of talks by all of the trainers. So much media that's, that's provided for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to evoke the instinctive recognition of this intelligence. And then after we have uh, completed the 12 empowerments training, then we have a one-to-one -one personal relationship with a trainer ongoing forever and and the trainer is just somebody who like you is committed to this lifestyle and is committed to just furthering your own empowerment your own recognition and, and realization of this intelligence and then the the fourth mainstay is the the worldwide community people all over the world who are committed to this lifestyle choice and so we as a worldwide community right now have a great responsibility the responsibility to carry forth the incredible benefits of knowing ourselves as we truly are, of recognizing the power and the potentiation at the juncture of open intelligence and data as being completely inseparable. We as a worldwide grassroots community are pioneering this lifestyle for others. This is the legacy that we're leaving we're leaving a legacy of what it really means to be an empowered human, to live a life wherein we can shine forth the beneficial qualities and activities of a, our own open intelligence. And so when, when we utilize this pith instruction of short moments many times and we just gift ourselves this powerful reintroduction to our relaxed potency, we tap into our own skillful nature. This intelligence, this open intelligence, is skillful by nature. And so nothing really need be done. We're so used to complicating our life in its micromanaging, in the shape-shifting, in the, the, the thinking that we need to do this, that, or the other thing. But sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get used to just this pith instruction. Relax for short moments many times. And so we just, we, we are allowing ourselves to be trained up in the potency of this. And then we, we just allow the flourishing of our gifts, strengths, and talents to be empowered by open intelligence. This is the, the lifestyle that we're choosing to live. And the, the most amazing thing is that we test this out on the ground running with whatever circumstantially is occurring for us. I found this to be so powerful that it was my direct experience that if I chose to take up the practice, use the support of the, the algorithm, that I would see in my everyday experience something different, that I would see my own empowerment starting to flourish. And that empowerment changed the way that I thought, and it changed the way that I used my body, and it changed the way that my speech came to the fore, and the qualities and the activities of my everyday life, they organically shifted. And to me, this, this organic shift was was really the beginnings of an authentic life, being truly authentic to myself, truly authentic in my relationships, and seeing that by being okay 
with myself by just being okay with whatever was going on, that, that it empowered me to be okay with, with everyone else too. And it wasn't that this okayness was sitting around doing nothing all day long. It actually was the unleashing of my beneficial qualities and activities. And not just my beneficial qualities and activities, but the beneficial qualities and activities that are inherent to each one of us. And so this is why when you see our community around the world, this worldwide community, you see people who are committed to taking personal responsibility for their own circumstantial flow of data and empowering each other to open up to the gift of that intelligence. The gift of skillful means of knowing what to do of what to say in every moment to empower that situation and to take these gifts, strengths, and talents that we may have at one point just used for our own personal benefit and open those up to allow them to flourish for the benefit of all. And so this is really fundamentally what a Four Mainstays lifestyle is. And so it's really important at this stage when we're pioneering this lifestyle to, to really own it, you know, to really own it, embrace it, embrace that okayness, embrace your own gifts, strengths, and talents, and allow them to flourish. And so it doesn't really matter what's going on for each one of us circumstantially. Whatever that is, that is our great opportunity. So the, the, the relationship with the data, it shifts from trying to micromanage it all the time to clarifying it, to really recognizing that every moment is an invitation to the recognition and the realization of this open intelligence as being all pervasive. And so for you, circumstantially at this point, it, it's the data in terms of parenting and in terms of your child and your situation. And I met the training when my own daughters were of a similar age to yours. And I saw very clearly early on that there was a complete shift in the way that I was parenting my children once I met the training and once I committed to really using the support of the Four Mainstays as, as how I was going to become more and more comfortable with with this empowerment of open intelligence. And so your situation here where you, your daughter is getting used to her, her environment of, of you know being in relationship now with parents that are divorced and she's finding her own way and you're finding your own way and your spouse is finding their own way and, and together this is what's occurring circumstantially. And it isn't that there's any right way or wrong way for the situation to unfold. There's, there is just the situation. And if you are resting deeply in the flow of this situation, then, then what's occurring is that you are empowering everybody with this great knowledge that they may not have access to quite yet, but you have access to it through your commitment to the Four Mainstays. And one of the things that's, that changed for me was that I started to include my daughters in all of the decisions. I thought that I actually was doing that before I met the training, but I really recognized after becoming more comfortable with open intelligence that I really was somehow still subtly hoping things would change a little bit. I was still subtly blaming people, places, and things for the way things were. I was wanting to impart what I thought was right onto the situation. And so as all those things settled down for me, I became more comfortable in what we term here a lot uh, called group wisdom, you know, the wisdom of the group. And so in this situation, the, the group wisdom can be you and your spouse and your child. And your child is certainly old enough where she can participate in these decisions. And it would be good to hear from her. And it doesn't mean that necessarily one person's way is gonna dominate the situation, but it does afford for everybody to be heard 
that this is one of the great principles of, of balanced view and a four mainstays lifestyle. Everybody is heard. Everybody has something important to contribute. And through the group wisdom, we come to a decision wherein everybody feels heard, respected, and satisfied. And, and then to honor that commitment and to know what the consequences are of breaking that commitment. And everybody has this up front. Everybody agrees to it. And, and then we revisit it periodically, however that needs to be. And I, I found this to be so empowering for my, my daughters, just to role model for them this way of being in relationship with each other, where it is all about a collaboration. It's about the group wisdom, and it's about personal responsibility and, and being held to account for that. And I, I think this is one of the great legacies that we can pass on. It's one of the, the ultimate ways of parenting. And it, it just allows for our children to see that there's a different way to be in relationship with themselves and with other people. And I, I think that this might be a really great place to, to start. And so this is what I mean. We're introduced to open intelligence. And then we bring that intelligence to our everyday life, whatever that is for us circumstantially. We bring open intelligence. We bring the openness of this intelligence. We bring the vast seeing. We bring the stability. We bring the skillful knowingness to the situation. It empowers the situation with this knowledge. And so a Four Mainstays lifestyle is a lifestyle of the recognition of perfect knowledge the perfect knowledge inherent in the recognition of open intelligence. And so every moment we choose to take a short moment, we are opening up the reification to its full potentiation. This is why this whole new world opens up. It's like in reification, we have the blinders on. We have such a limited scope of, of vision, but in a short moment, we open that up and then we, we see something that we, we didn't have the ability to see before. And so it's the access to open intelligence that's so key through the support of the Four Mainstays algorithm. So we just carry on, really. We carry on with a different relationship with the data. And we carry on where we feel stable and we feel empowered and our everyday qualities and activities are opened up to be of the greatest benefit to all. It's really innate to us anyway. That's why it feels so comfortable. It's like we're coming back home. We're, we're reintroducing ourselves to who we really are. And if we stay open and we stay committed to the, to the algorithm, then the guarantee of greater life satisfaction and flourishing is, is a given. The, the guarantee of, of a life of empowered, beneficial qualities and activities is a given. And, it, and it's, it isn't a destination that we're going to arrive at someday. It's a world of inexhaustibility, a world of inexhaustible beneficial qualities and activities. And so th this is our commitment. This is, this is how we carry on this legacy. And as we go, the, the world goes. As we come to peace within ourselves, as we settle down, as we become more comfortable with our own stability and our own skillfulness, so too this happens globally. So this is really the power and the importance of our grassroots movement. <laughs>